And we're back. Hey there, cats and kittens. It's your weird Uncle XB. We're playing Control. So let's see. Where last we left our intrepid adventure, everything was bad, and we were trying to find some way of making it right. So, let's see where we actually are. Our current mission, directorial override. Fix the NSC energy converters. The internal lockdown and emergency security measure is stopping Jesse from looking for Trench's missing management team in other sectors. Jesse sets out to enter the maintenance sector to find the directorial override and lift the internal lockdown. With Ati's help, Jesse reaches the maintenance sector with the internal lockdown. All right. I've made a couple of changes. I have decreased the, uh, the mouse sensitivity because I noticed that it was uh, sort of you know, shaking around a bit making it a little bit difficult to follow what was happening. Uh, let's see where we're going. So going that way. Okay. And that's it. That's 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 what I changed. That's uh Oh wait, there was one other thing. Hold on. So Looks like we have earned enough stuff to unlock ourselves a new weapon form. This is Spin. Now, I could save this a little bit. I need a couple more ritual impulses to uh, upgrade uh, base weapon damage in another mod slot for... Uh... Well, that's just regular grip. Okay. That's the, the regular pistol. Honestly, has been serving me really, really well so far. But let's see what Spin's got. Is that the only thing I can upgrade? Okay. So I need a bunch more ritual impulses and some source. Source seems to be the uh, basic... Uh, whatever. Alright. Executive sector using Spin. Okay. All right. So let's see. We're going to try something a bit new. Get more accuracy on that spin, and let's see how it goes. Oh, it's a Uzi. All right. Then shall we? I'm not convinced that was worth the expenditure. There's my energy converters, so that's where I need to be. Let's see what my other options are from where I'm standing. That room is closed. It's locked. Can't get through. Nope, can't hide. What else is up here? Access corridor? leads back around to central maintenance. Okay, it's interesting I have not been there. 
Let's take a quick look. Whoop. Spin rate of fire boost, huh? Let's see. Honestly, I think what this needs more than anything else is, uh... It is damage, but... Let's see. Wow. Let's make it a whole lot less accurate, shall we? God bless these people for leaving all this shit in their bathrooms. I hear it. Yeah, that's a good sound. I'm not really sure what this stuff is, but I can shoot it. Shooting it breaks it. Always been a big fan of that. Looks like I unlocked the field training office. And that's Black Rock Processing. This is well beyond where I need to be right now. That is the sector elevator, okay? Can this be used? Nope, not yet. Research and records. Thresholds. Examination of paranatural topics. Thresholds. The oldest place is a pla the oldest house is a place in flux. Thresholds appear with no warning. What the threshold will contain is a question we can only answer once it manifests. The widely accepted theory is that thresholds are dimensions vibrating on a frequency different from our own. When these frequencies match, the threshold will manifest in the oldest house, which acts as a Others theorize thresholds are parallel universes or possibly our own reality at a different point in time. Some believe our collection of altered materials affects the house or attracts the thresholds. We do not know, we do know rather, sorry, let me try that again. We do know for certain that thresholds are not permanent. Eventually the frequency will shift. Some believe earth itself is just another threshold connected in the oldest house, connected to the oldest house, which is actually rooted in some other reality. This theory, while impossible to disprove, causes in those who learn of it, so it is actively denied. In those who learn of it, so is it actively denied. In those who learn of it, so is active, actively denied. That's confusing syntax. Refer to file 5 051881 for a full report. Alright, so we're in the Department of Maintenance. So we're right now in Central. Field training is right through here. That seems to be blocked off. What do you say, kids? Wanna take a uh, brief side trip to whatever the fuck is happening over here? Oh, okay. All right, well, there's clearly something happening over here and let's go see what that is. First things first, I am... Uh, I'm not convinced that, that uh, spin is better than grip, at least not at this time, not until we get some uh, upgrades into it. So I'm going to go ahead and swip, swip back over to grip. Field a training actor complaint. <coughs> Federal Bureau of Control. I'd like to for file a formal complaint, RE, the unauthorized use of my voice in a state of quality that I did not agree on. The fact that they were planning to use material from what I thought was a rehearsal was not communicated to me at all. Had it been, I would have disallowed the use of those recordings. I want to use, I want use of the Ranger Field Training Course recorded messages to halt immediately. I will not stand for this humiliation among my peers. I will go to HR with this if necessary. Signed, Randall Polanski. Okay, I am excited to hear what this is going to sound like. training course is designed for combat personnel with basic weapons proficiency. If you're not eligible for this course and believe you require combat training, please speak with your supervisor. Ooh. That paper exploded into smaller papers. That's how that works. All right. So, so I, I just read this. Welcome to the Ranger Field Training Course. The course must be completed in a specified amount of time. When you're ready to start, press the button. Is that all, or...? 
I, I always see. did love obstacle courses. All right, so we're going to run through an optional obstacle course, and hopefully this will end up with us getting the thing. Get ready, Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, oh, nope, that's the start. two, one. Uh, go. Right. Calm down for a second and see where the fuck this is supposed to plug into. Yeah, I'm not getting it this way. I'm not getting it on my first try. Fifteen seconds remaining. Oh, I see. So this is not that difficult. Oh, that's it? That's it. Alright, I overthought it. Okay, let's try that again. Get ready, Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, two, my chat. one. Uh... Go. I feel like something bad is going to happen. 30 seconds remaining. <laughs> 15 seconds remaining. Fuck. Both complete. Congratulations, trainer. Guessing this isn't usually part of the course. Obviously. It's protecting itself. We need to hit it harder to break that shield. Okay. So how about with something explosive? It looks like I already broke the shield. Hello, safe. Copies have been given weapons slash projectiles. Shield yourself to pass slash level up. Okay. Okay. I see. Alright. So those bullets are getting dragged into. Look at that shit. Huh. So how long does this shield last? I can't climb up there, apparently. sides. 
Yes, I am definitely being stuck. That seems to be the end of it. Let's get out of here. Shield. Whoop! I was a sniper. They have snipers now. Shouldn't be surprised. Altered items, plastic tree procedures. Holiday Memories Tree, AL14-AE. <clears throat> Not AL, that's actually AI, so it would be Altered Item 14-AE. Containment procedure. Item must be contained within a soundproof cell. Description slash altered effect. A Holiday Memories brand white plastic tree with green plastic stand. The item repeats words and phrases spoken with a range of feet, always in a tone below hertz. This verbal mimicry has a profoundly distressing effect on the individual it is copying. Background. The item was taken from the a Canadian research station established on Ross Island in Antarctica, where it was used to celebrate the holiday season in 1979. Solar radiation damaged the radio, severing the base's only means of communication, only means of communication with the world. After the frozen passages, excuse me, after the frozen passages opened, a military expedition visited the base to re-establish contact. They found the base's occupants in various states of madness, rambling about voices in the tree. Military personnel discovered they also heard the tree speaking. After locking the item in a supply crate, excuse me, after locking the item in a supply crate, they brought it back to the mainland, at which point the Bureau intervened. Huh. I missed all of these. Alright, uh, give me a moment. Um, objects of power. Apparently I did not, I didn't know that I even got these. So, a moment, if you will. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I am terribly sorry. I am still getting over this uh, whole coronavirus shit. And uh, uh, most of the worst of the symptoms are gone, but I still do occasionally have disgusting coughing fits, so for that I apologize. Floppy disk, OOP, Object of Power 5-KE, Containment Procedure, must be contained in a cell with no other loose material. Description, uh, Power Utility, so the object is an 8-inch eight eight inch diskette containing Soviet-era nuclear launch codes. When bound, the object allows power utilitarians para-utilitarians to telekinetically lift material and throw it a short distance. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.15 for more information. The object is currently bound to for research purposes. Background, stolen from a military base located in by agent and within the CIA. The diskette contained launch codes to missiles believed to be reserved for use against after being returned to America, the diskette began throwing computational hardware at members of the decoding team. An informant in the CIA tipped the bureau off, and it was requisitioned by agents the next day. The home safe. This is the one we've just picked up. Home safe, object of power 22-KE. Containment procedure, no unique procedures required. The object is a guardhouse brand home safe. Weight measurements vary. When bound, the object allows power utilitarians to telekinetically gather items and debris from their surroundings. The object is currently bound by... <laughs> discovered 
in the ba- in the background, excuse me, background, discovered in the basement of a home in Ohio. The object gained rapid interest in certain online forums dedicated to opening abandoned safes. After months of failure, the owner <clears throat> after months of failure, the owner attempted to open it with explosives. The object survived with no physical damage. Girl agents were dispatched, now confident of its paranatural nature. Blood occasionally emerges from the seam around the object's door. Tests confirm the blood is not human. Jesus Christ. X-rays taken of the object indicate that something is trapped inside, though the images are always blurred, which indicates the contents of the object are moving. All attempts to open the object have been unsuccessful. Oh, God. Uh, Hotline. Object of power 3-UE. Object should be inaccessible for use except to the director. Uh, Object is a 1960s era red bakelite telephone. The rotary dial has been replaced with a black knob of unknown purpose. The phone weighs... Wow, that even that's been redacted. Does that mean it's very heavy or very light? The object allows the director to communicate with... We know that that is the board. If used by anyone other than the director, the object will cause lethal... Wow, okay. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.6 for more information. Jesus Christ, they tested this. The object is currently bound to Director Trench. The object spontaneously manifested in the director's office placed on the desk. Director Northmore was the first known bureau agent to use it. Battery of tests were run on the object, including... And... But its origin remains unknown. Merry-go-round. This is what is allowing us to do those uh, uh, air dashes. Merry-go-round horse, object of power 16-KE. Containment protocol. Containment procedure object should be kept in a confined space when unbound. Description power utility, the fiber a fiberglass how Good God. Try that again. A fiberglass horse once used as a seat for a merry-go-round ride. The pole is still connected to the object. The object is capable of moving short distances at high speeds. This can be quite dangerous when <laughs> its path. The object is currently bound by <laughs> background. The object was discovered at the site of an abandoned amu- abandoned amusement park. Local <laughs> reported that the rides would move on their own and that they would be chased out. When these rumors reached the Bureau, see America Overnight, episode 235, agents were dispatched to investigate. Three, whoops, three local <laughs> were found dead at the scene. The object attacked agent <laughs> by Agents invoked formula C.5 to the object long enough to... Okay, so that one's fucking dangerous. And finally, the service weapon, object of power 1-KE. No unique procedures required for containment. Description slash power utility, the object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows power utilitarians to... The object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of... Okay, well, we know that's the director. The object will determine whether... If rejected, the applicant is terminated. Huh, okay. So that was that was my interview, I guess. The process is dictated by the board. Clearly the board, though their criteria is unknown. The object was discovered inside the oldest house in the room that is now used as the director's office. The popular hypothesis... Many forms throughout history... Mjolnir, Excalibur, uh, Varanostra, all weapons that of their wielders. Okay, so, um, this is the hero, this is, uh, um, what the fuck is that man's name? I don't remember. Oh, God. The all heroes are every heroes. Um, th- this is, this is, uh, the, the, they're saying that there's a belief that this may have been, uh, that this may be the current form of the legendary weapon throughout history. Mjolnir, Excalibur, uh, Varunas- Varunastra, I do not know that one. Um, if objects of power are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of that event. If this is the case, see Dr. Darling, presentation 11.1 for more details. That is the third time Jung has been brought up in this Vigima game. The most time I've seen Young brought up in in any like in years, honestly. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. All right. <coughs> that was a uh, useful little side trip. Now I can do this. 
right, that's the power plant. That way is the sector elevator. This way is Black Rock Processing. Let's just take a look in here. Okay, these motherfuckers have explosives. Whoa, they have explosives! Okay. Wait a minute. Can't I throw explosives? Holy shit. Yes, I can throw explosives! Look at that! I was reasonably certain I added that. Clearly can't get through there. It's clearance four. It's through here. A lot of bright, bright light. The box! Give me that box. Tennyson report. Tennyson report warning. Federal Bureau of Control, non official. Tennyson report warning. Listen, Trench is on the warpath about this Tennyson report thing. He wants to know who wrote it and he wants to know yesterday. Whoever did is going to get crucified. I don't know if it was one of you guys, and I don't want to. Not super keen on leading the witch hunt, so tell everyone in the sector to keep their heads down. Best not to be on anyone's radar right now, you know? I tell you, not even counting all the weird shit we deal with, this place can be a downright hostile work environment sometimes. Hey. ba da ba ba da ba Wow. I'm just looking around in here, uh, and then I'm gonna go back to uh, stop the place from getting wrecked. Okay, what now? Okay. Okay. Where does that go? It goes down forever. Alright. Where the fuck are we? So, uh... We're in a place between places. Okay. Can't go forward that way, so let's get the fuck out of this creepy place, shall we? That's not the way out, that's the way to the elevator, which we don't have access to just yet till we deal with this lockdown. So let's do let's do that, shall we? Still, no regerts. That was a pretty good side trip. Gonna come down. All right. One, two, three. That's who wants the power. Got explosives.
Portal? What is this? Power. Cleanse this thing. Alright. So, to begin with, we've got new abilities, but let's see if... Yeah, I've been gaining Ritual Impulse at a pretty decent clip. I'm definitely keeping Grip as uh, my primary for the moment, because it's just better. Hang on. So, Shield... Let's see. So I can increase shield strength, and once I've spent one, three, once I've spent three in here, I can spend another three to throw uh, my shield at people when I release it. Might not be bad. Or I could use evade to rush at enemies and knock them back. Um, okay, so currently, because I can't do anything else, I can't do anything else while shield is up. So uh, what I, what I, uh, uh, what it's for right now is putting up so that I can run from cover to cover until I put in some uh, offensive abilities, but those are expensive, and there are other things that I want to add right now. I could pick up large, large enemies when their health is low, and then I would also be able to grab large objects, wouldn't I? I'm going to do that. Yeah, all right. So next, I'm going to start working on my health. My health is, uh, I haven't been paying much attention to it. And I have been taking bits and pieces of damage lately. Now, on the other hand, I, uh, I can now pick up, uh, big things. Okay, that's not great. We already know going in there is death, so I don't know how to clean this shit yet. I need to check in with Ati, find out if that's uh, gonna be, you know, when we have that option. Meantime, looks like. Okay. It's right up. Fix it before the old big man's inside the plant has a shit fit. Being stealthy. Trust that the uh, music has already stopped. Whoop! Yep, that's what I thought. That's a sniper. It's not popping up. And another one over there, too. Okay. Keep an eye out for that dude right there. There he is. Got him. Okay, good. If I could never manage to get my hands on a, on a, a, a snipey version of this, that is absolutely what I need. I need long range, I need short range. Short range I have covered with the scatter, splitter, whatever, the shotgun. Didn't pop off this time. All right. All right. It seems pretty clear what we're doing here. Whoop! Fuck me! All right. 
guys have explosives. Now I also have explosives. Of course, I took it in the face while I was throwing it back. I need better help. I, I absolutely need better help. All right. XP, you dumbass. Level vigor. All right. Um. There's at least one more. There's at least one more with... Oh! Okay, that's right. I can pick up big things now. Well, yeah, buddy. Come on, man. I got this whole fucking forklift for you. Whoa! Where are you at? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Possibly, possibly an overreaction. Alright, uh, so... It's clear what needs to be done. I'm, uh, sticking these on to various parts of this thing, and that's gonna allow me to proceed. Something. All right, you are something else. All right, so the electricity level is. That and water level is also that, so that seems to be good. I guess we're okay. I guess we're okay. That is an alien plant. I'm sure there must be some sort of regulations against that. Upcoming game reminder, not official. Next game is Wednesday at 8, usual spot. Hazard owes me 20 bucks. Arish is still on a fucking winning streak. Someone please figure out how he's cheating. Thompson suspended for a game because of that shady dealing incident. Guy, I owe you 60 bucks. I brought beers last time, so it's Hapston Stall's turn. All right, so they're playing uh, poker. They got a poker game, and Arish is better at poker than the rest of them. Oh, I recognize this. We walked past this a couple of times uh, yesterday. Like that. Yep. See that? Oh, shit. Okay, that motherfucker is floating. I don't. 
don't feel good about that. Oh, has he just not, had he just not activated yet? I don't think he just didn't activate. Just did not activate yet. I almost forgot I had that. Okay, so first things first, let's get this place in slightly better order, shall we? Sure is. I get you. First, I'm gonna look around for a bit. Enough fucking around. Let's uh. Office rules of conduct. Oh, we saw this before. I'm using the person. Let's say. Oh, this is literally the exact same page, including the. the so uh, I, there's a, a cork board that we saw before, and I was looking at exactly this, the office rules of conduct, to see if there was any hidden jokes on it. There isn't. But uh, <coughs> the, this this handwritten bit is on that other thing as well. So it, it is literally the same. Uh, it's literally the same uh, 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 item. This too, the acoustic guitar for sale, and socks and ballerinas. Okay, so this is exactly the same uh, corkboard. Aha! You thought you thought you could get away with reusing minor assets like this? You were wrong. Okay. Was all deeply ominous. So those are. I'm going to assume That's those it. are areas that well, I've just like unlocked. Open now. Yep, that's what she said. Okay. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. All right. Let's I'll do risk that. it. You two should get to know each other. All right. Actually, what I'm going to do first, I want to check in with Ati and see if there's anything else that he needs. Let's get down to the janitor's office, shall we? Now, uh, just to point this out, I have played through this game once before, but it was some time ago. My memory is shit, and I legitimately don't remember uh, quite a bit of this. I'm going to see control room. What's this? Something happening here. I don't know what that is, so let's go check it out. Oh no, that is where I am. That's exactly where I am. So that just means you are here. Very smart. Well done. How do I get back to the janitor's office? Central executive. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's go to the... I'm going to go to the power plant. Back with the Reish. Hey, she's back! Can you die? Director Faden. Please don't die this time. Thank you. Just, just keep, keep... When you talk to us, when you talk, just keep yourself to... Uh, very, 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 you know, bland things. Like, hello, director. Don't ever say anything about how you're about to retire or you can't wait to get your hands on, on some real action. Fucking morons. Here. I 
think I think this is the way back to Artis. Yes, there's the janitor's office. That's where I wanted. That was that shortcut that I unlocked. There's Ati! Hey, you doing, buddy? You have anything for me to do? You have nothing else for me to do. Okay, well, that was a waste of trip. Uh, let's see. Nah, let's just get the fuck out of here. Let's go on ahead and uh, advance the plot, shall we? I heard the Shiz attack the power plant. Brings up a lot of new questions. Are questions of those. Coordinating? What about the plant attracted them? The power plant is largely confidential. No use guessing the Hiss's motives if we don't even know what kind of energy it uses. What do you mean? It has to be a fusion reactor. There's no other way to create that kind of energy output, right? Yeah, dude, we're in an bureau. We're in a bureau of impossible things, and I, your director, can pick up and throw things with my mind. It doesn't necessarily have to be a fusion reactor. It could be fucking literally anything in there. Do you know I found a safe that has some kind of monster inside it that bleeds? Now I, 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 I can telekinetically clad myself in debris. This place is kind of fucked up. That's all I'm saying. Jesse, you made it. I did. And you lifted the internal lockdown. I did. Let's. Let's talk, Emily. Listen, Emily. <sighs> Screw it. Just tell her. I, I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. Oh. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came, tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. 
She led me to you. I call her Polaris. As in a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Yeah, I, I can now, throw shit around pretty well. The database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. Right. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. All right, clearance level three. I legitimately don't remember if we saw any doors for Marshall clearance level three. We'll step. blunder into them when we do. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. Oh, God. Um. Okay. All right, let's see. Anything new? Hi, Jesse. Hi, Pope. Uh... Is this all new stuff? I don't know if this is new stuff. Let's see. I keep finding traces of Darling, but still can't find him. Where could he be? But he's usually in his office in research or one of his labs. Yeah, this is Dr. New. Darling has quite a few all around the bureau. Could be hiding in any one of them. I check myself, but I don't have access to most of them. Sure, Sounds like incredible. I touched a nerve. He didn't let you into his labs? Not all of them, no. Some had volatile material. It's ridiculous. I mean, this whole place is volatile material. Could have at least thought up a more convincing lie. I mean, how can I work without access to all the data possible? This place has a bad habit of moving around, huh? So you notice the building shifts. Did you know that 39% of bureau accidents are caused by the shifts? It's true. Uh I ran the numbers myself. So they're dangerous. E oh, yes. very. Yet one time, a shark got shifted into a meeting room along with over 2,000 gallons of water. Jesus Christ. It was a tiger shark, Darling's pet research project. I forget what he was researching. Was it sharks? How do people work here? You said you're an assistant? Oh, it's just a title. I'm a scientist, a researcher. I work for Dr. Darling. See, when bureau agents go out in the field, the sites of altered world events, we study the materials, the altered items they bring back. It's always something we've never seen before. And studying them requires new instruments, methodologies, sometimes entirely new fields of science. Emily really loves her job. See, there's no guidebook for what we do here. Everything that happens at the bureau, including the science, is without precedent. What exactly is the Ocean View Motel? That's a bigger question than you might think. You see, I have extreme doubts that the motel is a single place. I mean, look at all the doors inside it. Where do they all go? We know that one door leads to the oldest house, but how come we can only ever open that one door? Maybe to open a door, you have to have entered through it. Hmm. So if every door leads to a different dimension, plane, reality, whatever you want to call it, then I believe that the motel is firm proof that parallel universes exist. Does Darling agree with that? I haven't told him yet. I'm waiting until I can prove it. Good call. Finally. What can you tell me about control points? They're nexus points of the oldest house's unique energies. 
Now, I wrote a 30-page proposal hypothesizing that we could siphon energy directly from them. Darling didn't even get through the first page before he turned it down. Right. And, uh, has anyone ever used them to teleport around? What? Uh, no. <laughs> what, I mean, you mean physically? <laughs> no, not that I've ever heard of. Why? No reason. Because that's how they work for me. What? Really? I fucking love this. Oh my, oh my god. god. More tests. Let's hold off on the tests until later, okay? Okay. You know, it's just... Wow. I, this blows my control point theories right out of the water. I love it. One of the things that I really appreciate about this game is how it makes the effort Be to make sense diegetically of, of, of every single one of, of our gaming abstractions. The idea of fast traveling is not new, but this, is, this game is, is acknowledging the fact that we're just teleporting around from point to point. These things that we can see, the overlay, Polaris is putting that in here. It's really fucking neat. Uh, we've earned some abilities. So first off, I did say that we need some health. And second off, oh, it looks like we got an extra personal mod slot. Um, hmm. And increase launch damage. So that's... Because that's... I don't think I need to say anything else. Okay, so I just need another two grand source and I'll be able to upgrade my pistol. And in the meantime, I appear to have unlocked an extra mod slot. Ooh. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's clean up our bags a bit, shall we? Increase health for the moment. Bait energy cost negative twelve percent of bait energy cost. Actually, I think I'm going to go with that instead. Hope has asked us to document the hiss incantation, as she calls it. Now, in addition. In person? Based on in person. what, uh, paper. based on what Ati said, it sounds like he does have some new stuff for us. So I'm gonna try that first. We already know that we have a, a, a nice, quick means of getting back to Ati. Not perfect, but it doesn't seem to involve running through monsters. That being said, I probably want to go through monster-infested spaces because I do need some extra money. Okay, I was right. He is Finnish. Or well, unless he's just talking about the Finnish people. It's back. What would kill a bad day? Paska, mikä paska. Okay, how do I get to that? I need to go in through the coolant pumps? Research sector is the first. It's like we're going after Clog again. But everything that Ati said before, uh, that, uh, that shit sounded uh, scary as hell. So we're gonna jump the gun on, on uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna jump at uh, anything we can do to help that man because I am fairly certain that he is not human. 
right, so. Number one. All right. Need to get to them coolant pumps. I am pretty sure. Looks like that's the way to get to that uh, uh, yellow question mark. There's the coolant pumps. Climb you, I can. Yeah. this. I've been here. I have not been here. Launch efficiency, that's what I want. Yeah, perfect. That'll do. I could have just gone to here, couldn't I? All right. Okay, looks like I'm going through here. Oh, this is the right way. That's something up there. It's not something I can deal with currently, so fuck it. There's something up there. But again, yeah, that looks mold related. That's not something I can touch yet. and not enough to get shot at. This is, this is not correct. Correspondence. Clog complaint. That gross blockage down in the water systems is back. What the fuck is it? And why does it keep coming? Where does it keep coming from? And why the hell does Ati keep yelling nonsense at it? He acts like he can understand him. Of course, he acts like we can understand him, too. I guess that's just his brand of crazy. I'm going to try out a new drain cleaner. Extreme strength. Oh, okay. Well, that guy is probably dead now. All right, there's Ati's cart, so we are hopefully in the right place. And there's some gross goop on the ground. Hello Good. again, Mr. Clog. You've really let yourself go. Okay. Water cooler procedure. 
Oh, it's another altered item. Uh, altered item 53-KE, containment procedure, no unique procedures required. If the item's form is different than any previously reported, then may... <clears throat> then make a note describing the new form. Uh, the object's true shape and appearance are unknown. It's been known to take the form of the following objects. Ring of keys, lunchbox, wrench, microscope, stapler, glasses, mail tube, spoon. The item is able to adopt the physical form of, a of items. The item is able to adopt the physical form of items in its immediate vicinity. The item is capable of limited physical movement, repositioning itself whenever it changes form. This only occurs when it is unobserved, physically and digitally. Okay? Because of this, the transition between shapes has never been observed. Reciting formula I.14 or I.32 causes the item to reveal itself by shuddering. The item was originally discovered, was initially discovered within the bureau itself, whether an agent brought it inside intentionally or otherwise, or it resided here prior to the bureau's arrival to the oldest house, is unknown. Hmm. Whoops. God damn it. Come on. Alright, so I've got one, I've got two, and I just connected three. Seem to be a third thing, but I can. Let's see. Yep, that's what I thought. <coughs> we should go down there to clear out the rest of it. Fucking gross. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Clark. I sincerely hope we never meet again. Oh, we're going to. Was that it? That was the whole thing? Okay, good. Hey, we got two boxes out of that. Nice. Spin grouping efficiency might actually be worth using it. It's, uh, my problem with it is that it doesn't do enough damage for how much spread that weapon has. And also that it, it I just can't justify using it over the regular grip. It's not as good as the shotgun for close range, it's not as good as the grip for medium or long range. That's new things coming. Whoop, hey there buddy. solo. Heard it. Unless that was just this thing smacking against stuff. There it is. Hi there. Good. You're all down there. I see you. Okay. Come on, go to our forklift. Is useful information. Because I can't I can't sprint when I'm carrying this. Okay. 
do that fucking go? Yeah, buddy. Let's see where he went. Oh, high or low? Do not see. There it is. Okay, that seems like it. Efficiency is not a bad idea. Let's see. Jesus Christ. I well. When we inevitably have to come back here to deal with that moss, moss mold, we know where it is at least. Okay. A little bit faster we fire rate. You're sane, you're sane. Good. You... what do you learn? Nothing! You learn nothing! You're an idiot! Jesus Christ! You're not itching for real action! This place is hell! Filled with fucking monsters, you dumb... Ugh, anyway, alright, hold on. Let's take a look at our missions. That's interesting. Maintenance, major targets, and I've got three and a half minutes to do this, so this is clearly an optional thing. Looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like Adi's thing already got uh, automatically turned in. I see energy converters are not that far away from here. Can I jump there? It'd be nice if I could. Yeah, I can. While I'm here, let's also go ahead and increase our energy. The more energy we have, the more we can throw people around. Let's see. Telekinesis does not go great in tight spaces. I gotta do something about that. He's healing very quickly. He's healing very quickly. Shit. I need to find out who the fuck is healing him. Oh, that's not great. Nope, nope, nope. Made a mistake. So, that was foolish. What have we learned? <laughs> Alright, there's something. Oh! Present failed due to removed device. Uh oh. Okay! Looks like we've crashed. Give me just a few moments, I'll get this fixed.